Hey, Billy, you know what's awesome? What's that, man? Uh, movie ripoffs, kinda. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, are you talking about those kind of ones that capitalize on the success of the first one and never yeah. quite capture that magic? <laughs> That's precisely what I'm talking about. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Last you left the scary, the scary dad, the, the uh, you know what's awesome podcast. We had just blown up a shark, and uh, Brody and Hooper were swimming towards shore with blood in the water and seabirds eating chunks of dead shark. And we mentioned the fact that if there was one shark in the water, there's got to be at least another one. Yeah, probably you know at least two because where did that first one come from to begin with? Right. That's right. So uh, it only stands to reason that at some point in the in the near or distant future, there would be another shark. So right. ju- just when you thought it was safe to go back in the water. Uh, <laughs> and here, what, here what's, you... what's funny is how, I mean, you, you, you were showing your love so much for part three in the, <laughs> you know, last episode. So I'm glad now we can talk freely about these because I was like, ah, no, we gotta, we gotta talk about the first one. And then we can, cause, cause I actually love some of the other lower tier ripoffs of Jaws too. Oh, dude. Yeah. So like pretty, like the, the, just the, 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 the animals. Yeah. Animals ca- causing up. trouble. Yeah. Um, totally. Like, Big time. And then, I've, of course, I was a big cryptid lover, a big, you know, nature lover, reading about sharks and, right. you know, like, reading, going to the library and picking up books about snakes and wolves and bats and all kinds of cool stuff. <laughs> like, anytime there's any kind of nature that can cause some rowdiness, I'm all about it. So it's pretty incredible because so. you can almost walk year by year. After the release of Jaws, you can pretty much just go year by year and pick out the Jaws knockoff movie. Um, you kind of have to go with Grizzly at this point, right? Mm-hmm. Grizzly is, well, is Jaws just on land, right? Mm-hmm. Absolutely. And I don't remember the last time I saw that movie. Like, I've, I heard, whether it was you guys talking about it or yeah. somebody on another podcast or whatever, like, I remember these scenes of, of, of it almost, like, literally being Jaws. Like, you got the old grizzled hunter, and you've got the police chief that's yeah. out of his element, and you yep. got the bear expert. And How do you kill him at the they, end? You blow him up. I you mean, blow it's, him up? Yeah. I mean, that's they shoot him with, like, a rocket launcher. <laughs> and, I mean, that'll do it. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I, well, I have I have a big love for Grizzly, but I really have to talk about another right here. Uh, before we start getting into the actual official Jaws sequels... Orca the Killer Whale, man. Dude, I, I, I remember... I love it. <laughs> Dude, that that one... Again, that's... We talked about Quentin Ahab. This is Richard Harris and is, is the Ahab in this yeah. one. You know, he's he's all he's all sideways against the Orca, and it's just like, like mono a mono here. You know, they're, they're going to go head to head, and... I, um, yeah. I remember, I remember the first time seeing Orca. Well, let's go back to Grizzly real fast. I just want to make a little <laughs> thing. Like you're talking about, you're talking about Grizzly and how it's a Jaws ripoff. Well, Scott and I for Scary Dad, we did an episode called Bears vs. Sharks, oh. and what we did was we pulled every fatal, unprovoked attack by bears or sharks. Um, I th- I think it was globally. So mm-hmm. like. Every, every fatal attack by bears or sharks, and bears beat sharks. Oh yeah, like ten to one. Yeah. Now to be to, to to be to be fair, you know we live on land and so do bears. So there's the bears have a lot more opportunity, but but man, bears are not nice. <laughs> they're they're <laughs> and and so many of these stories while we were doing the research was just like. Um, you know, the, the, the guy disappears, like there's a guy jogging in a marathon. So there's like 200 other runners. And then this one guy just doesn't show up and they go searching for him. He got got by a bear. Like, Oh, you got this other one. It's like, every time they find somebody that's missing, they go out searching for him. Then there's a bear, like with a guy half buried and like cached, like saving for later. And there's a bear sitting on his remains, you know, ready to fight for it. It's just like how, like, can you imagine like, 
not not necessarily being search and rescue, but just walking through the woods and finding somebody that's like half eaten by a bear and cached in a yeah. in a hollow log. Yeah. Like yeah, you'd be, you'd be traumatized. Like you're talking about Hooper talking about the the girl that got eaten by the shark. Right. Like like. Oh, but it, <laughs> at least some water washed that off a little bit. Like, man. oh, yeah. God. Yeah, I mean, so. it, it, the bears ain't no joke, man. I, mean, you, <laughs> I think we just made our million-dollar movie. You just said it, man. What if you had a marathon, and, and, and there's there's a, a bear killing the marathon runners? I mean, like... Well, you do a tri... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you do, you do, a tri- do a triathlon, so you have a shark there, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh man there you go we just we just made our mint but yeah man orca orca the killer whale i, I just uh, you said it all wrong ago richard harris i mean you can't go wrong mm-hmm. with richard harris uh oh derek i mean that was, a, that was a that was a, a a high quality cast yeah for what is essentially a jaws ripoff yeah it's yeah just, without it's just a doubt. A straight up jaws ripoff summer movie well it even starts um, off with with the, the the killer whale chasing one of the carradine boys right before he's in revenge of the nerds <laughs> and you know, and it's chasing him, and then all of a sudden you see the the great white get rammed in the side, and they go, "There's only one animal that can do that." Yeah, <laughs> the killer whale. I was like, uh, "Okay, <laughs> big time." <laughs> so if you remember, if you remember, this is how we put it in sequence, right? So, and there's some other movies we can talk about that's in this little second. But if you remember the opening of Jaws two, what's dead mm-hmm. on the beach? The killer oh, whale. whale. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, so it's almost like they're like. Mm, they, oh, yeah. yeah, they're 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 they're, 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 they're putting it back and forth a little bit, right? Oh, of course. <laughs> yeah. Um, here's one for you, Blood Beach. Remember that one? I don't remember that one. What was that one? Well, that's the one where it's like you know, maybe being in the water is the safest place to be because there's something. It's a monster that's on the beach that's in, under the sand and it's attacking people oh. on the beach. <laughs> Kind of like Tremors almost. Very much like Tremors, right? But this, I mean, I remember the commercials coming on. It was like, you could tell this was a another little jab at Jaws about. Jab at Jaws. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, yeah, I mean, it, it just shows you what a phenomenon Jaws was when it came out. And, and everybody was trying to get their piece. Up from the depths, Roger Corman, mm. kind of the same deal. Hello, Piranha. Okay, so Piranha is <laughs> one of mine that. Um, well, again, I just we talk about Orca for just a second. I'm sorry, we can't just bypass Orca the way that we have because Orca's Orca really is an amazing movie. It's good, yeah. But, but I I remember like I had a little steno book similar to the one that I'm jotting notes on now, that that I was watching it, and I remember like writing down questions that I wanted to research, like like behaviors. Yeah. Right, because remember, the um, the 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 reason Orca got mad was because his mate was was caught, and then she ended up giving stillborn birth to the pup, right. and they just kind of hosed it off the boat. Right, um, and then I think they let her they they cut her loose. Yep, and then she ended up going right in the propeller of the boat. Yeah, yeah, killing herself by by hitting the propeller, and I remember writing down like do. Is that something they actually do? Like, do do animals commit suicide by going to a pr- propeller? Like, I know whales beach themselves sometimes. Right. You know, like, if they like, they'll quarantine out. Like, if somebody's got a disease or whatever, they'll ostracize and quarantine. And you know, the few have to take the take a few <laughs> take take a little bit of a beach nap for the team. But um, like all the different stuff. But whenever he goes rampages and starts busting up the docks yeah. and destroying the town. Yeah, and Bo Derek falls in the water. He bites, bites her, her leg, leg off. off. Yeah, like he just pulls that 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 broke that cast and just <laughs> just tears her leg off. And uh, just it's like there's so many just so many brutal awesome scenes. We were talking about the different scenes in Jaws, but whenever you have Jaws as a template, and you're like, well, okay, we can amp this up. We we can get a camera in the water and really make this yeah punt punch out hard. Um, there's some scenes in that movie that are just unforgettable, and especially at the end when he's flipping uh, <laughs> Harris chairs. around on the ice. <laughs> it's, it's <with> awesome. His... <laughs> <laughs> then he then he gets him on his tail and slams him against the iceberg. Right? I mean, he's just like wow. <laughs> <laughs> and then, so then he's good. just like, okay, I'm done. I got my vengeance. 
Yep. I, yeah, I guy. was I was always infatuated with the whole just kind of like what you're talking about with how smart are these animals? Because they always get, they kept building this up. Of course, you're talking about the the brutalness of it. I mean, it's it's De Laurentiis, so you know what you know. Mm-hmm. I made a comment on Hail Ming once. I think of when you see the De Laurentiis sign, you know you're in for a good time about sixty eight percent of the time. <laughs> yeah. but when he hits, he hits. You know, big time. Yeah, and, and that was what was so good about Orca was because even though it is a blatant Jaws ripoff, it's actually a good movie. Like yeah. if you take away the lore that kind of caused its creation and and yeah. step it outside, you watch that and be like, "Wow!" You know, because it is a good, solid. And we yeah. on, on Scary Dad, we talk a lot because you know with horror movies and. Jaws and Orca and Piranha, especially. Mm-hmm. Um, these are horror movies. Alligator. That was oh, a yeah. horror movie. Alligator, yeah. Like yep. a straight, straight, straight up horror movie. Um, it might be a little social commentary. It might, but it was it was intended to scare you. Um, and so whenever you come down to a horror movie, like, are you rating it based on, like, because it can be a really, it could be a Francis Ford Coppola movie if it's not scary. Um it could be a very high quality film, but if it's not scary, you know, yeah, what? Right. Orca's got Orca's scary. It's got moments where it's like I would not want to be where those people are right now. I right. don't, I don't want to be that guy. You know, well, and, you know like, like we said, the, the, it's taking Jaws but making it super smart, right? Mm-hmm. So now here, here's a killer whale that comes to your town because you live, you know, seaside. Well, Destroys mm-hmm. your whole town to call you out. <laughs> yeah, that's, and rips your daughter's leg off. That's the first time I've ever seen that. Really, I mean, <laughs> I, I yeah, I, I mean, I, I was I was infatuated with that whole thing. Like, yeah, big time. Yeah. So, um, Piranha, right? So, oh yeah, yeah. So so I don't know if you've ever heard my fun story about Piranha. No, well, I guess I. But have. Piranha, there's a there's a place. Outside of oh, yeah. San Marcos, called Aquarina Springs, yeah, and it is a natural lake that's fed by underground springs, and the visibility from it's it's like maybe a hundred feet deep, and the visibility is perfectly clear all the way to the bottom. And when I was a kid, it used to be a resort. Or like a not a resort, a uh, a theme park, right? Yeah. So you go to Aquina Springs. They had glass bottom boats. They had this uh, this show with like the diving pig. They had these girls that dressed as mermaids, and at the bottom of the lake, um, the the shell that the mermaids came out of had like air hoses. So the girls would swim around and do acrobatics, and then swim over and like take a breath, and then like, but it was all free diving. Yeah. It was, supremely cool like yeah. very very cool stuff and then you'd just be walking through the park and there'd just be rocks like burbling out water and you could just walk up to the rocks and get a sip of, of clean spring water it was really really neat that's where they filmed piranha hmm. and they filmed piranha there because of the visibility and the clarity and obviously they could have they could have gotten to other places but you're on the glass bottom boat you can look down, and there's these groups of perch that hmm. kind of cluster together in schools. And on the boat, they talk about the re- they they shot piranha there because of the clarity of the water, but also because of these perch that live there that resemble piranha. They're not piranha, but they resemble them. They look like them from a distance. And if they can drop some food in there, they'll swarm up and yeah. do this number. You never saw a kid standing right in the middle of a boat, but right forward of the glass, because I was afraid the glass was going to break, <laughs> and I was going to fall into that water, and those piranhas, and the jaws, and everything, I was like, <laughs> that was, <laughs> I just wanted to get off that boat, I was <laughs> just get away from there, as soon as I, it's like, oh yeah, hey look, it's deep, and it's clear, and there's fish, and everything, and then the movie Piranha. Right. Because I'd seen that thing, <laughs> that was, that and uh, with with uh, the toy, with Richard Pryor getting attacked by the piranha. Oh, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And he starts running like, across the water. <laughs> he's, he's start rip, ripping his clothes apart, and like kind of ch- biting little ch- chunks out of him. Yeah. Yeah, I was, I was scared of Piranha when I was little. For sure. Yeah. <laughs> It's kind of like we said. It's that it's like that quicksand thing, right? Piranhas just seem to pop up 
pretty often in our childhood and stuff, you know? Mm-hmm. Every every maniacal bad guy had some somewhere in a tank, right? <laughs> and yeah, and they're they're not nice. You know? They got them at the zoo, and they walk and they swim around all snaggle tooth like that. Like, right. eh. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess we can get into the official sequel, Jaws Two, which I have to admit, I love me some Jaws Two, man. Mm-hmm. Uh, it is not the first one. But there are scenes in the second one that you just can't deny, man. When mm-hmm. when the, when the guy falls out of the boat with his girlfriend, he's trying to swim back. Even though it's one of those things like the opening of, of the original, you don't see anything. Man, when he grips that the side of that boat and it and pulls it off, I mean that's how hard he's holding yeah. on. That's intense, man. Like I said, I said in the last episode, my dad recorded Jaws two off of. Uh... TV for me, so it was probably like a a less gory version than the original. Yeah. Um, watching watching the original and then remembering what was on that tape, there's not a whole lot of difference except for the uh, the the TV because Channel 13 Eyewitness <laughs> News, like late night movie, whatever. Um, <laughs> but uh, but yeah, I think again having seen Jaws two before seeing the original. Mm-hmm. Um, there's so many more attacks, there's so many more kills, yeah. and the shark's so much more prevalent, um, he's well, so much more visible. It's 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 more of a serial killer movie, right? I mean, this is a this is a horror movie that they went yeah. for with the second one. Because it's straight up revenge, let's kill a bunch of kids. I mean, it's, yeah. you know, put a hockey well, mask on, on the shark and, you know, it's kind of what you got. Exactly. Well, and and the fact that the shark gets its face burnt right at the yeah. beginning. Yeah. Um, uh, the the divers, and that that was what I was saying is like for me with with Jaws two, having having entered the series of Jaws three, the watching Jaws two and those divers at the beginning of the movie, they're exploring the orca. Yeah. Yeah. And I rem- I remember watching Jaws two with my dad, and you know they're exploring the orca and they're taking pictures, and he's like pointing at the the nameplate on the boat, and I was like, "What is that?" He's like, "Well, that's the boat that got sunk in the first one." Right. And for me, that was like it was it was discovery, it was archaeology, it was like uncovering a hidden gem. It's like, oh well, I need to know the story of this boat. Right. Like, I I need to know what happens because. This is important, obviously. If, if it's not important, they wouldn't be here. Something something serious happened. And then the shark attacks them, and the camera falls. Yeah. And later on, Brody's going through those the, the photographs. <laughs> Can't you tell this is a shark? <laughs> See, it's, yeah, it's just it's all... <laughs> it's just, like, bubbles in an eye. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> like, dude, there was so... Like you say, there's so many great scenes. The yeah. the The... The rafts getting all bundled oh, yeah. together, yeah. and um, the helicopter. Know, again, the helicopter. Yeah. I mean, it's just like, <laughs> well, dude, that's that's when you know, like, you're safe now. There's a, there's a, there's a there's aircraft, <laughs> you know, and uh, the the I think the most memorable kill in Jaws two. I don't remember her name. I wanted to look it up and I forgot until just now. But she's one she's one of the less annoying kids. She's like the one that's kind of more responsible and she was kind of taking care of, of the kid, uh, the kid, yeah. Of the of, of the little ones. Yeah. And then the shark bashes everything and she actually pushes Yep. Pushes uh, him to Mike, safety. Yeah. Pushes him to safety and the shark grabs her and yeah. like you see her back snap back and yeah. then go under. And then and then of course Tina and uh was it Bobby, the the guy that I think was it's holding right. on to the side of the boat? Um, and she's hiding under there when they find her. Oh, she's man. She's hi- hi- hiding at the bottom of the boat and just yeah. can't, In can't shock. talk. Yeah. Um, so so many great scenes. And she can't – she's she's looking at the broken kind of like – because I guess he had blood on his hands, so there's a little bit of blood on the side of the boat. Yeah. And she's telling it to go away. Like, go yeah. away. Go away, go away. <laughs> Just so so many memorable scenes and Jaws. I like Jaws two. I, I I think that the Jaws sequels, especially in hindsight, because I can't imagine watching Jaws two in the theater after seeing Jaws one. If you were a cinephile 
and you can understand the difference in yeah. directorial choices and stuff right. like that. Jaws 2 is a good, scary movie. Like know, it's a good, I mean, it's a great movie. Yeah, you know? Jeanneau Short, right? I mean, the the guy that ended up directing it, he just did some TV stuff, and Spielberg decided not to do the second one, so they pulled Jeanneau in, and you know, I, I, I have to hand it to him, man. I mean, he he made it work. Uh, you know, there's some good documentaries on some of the technology they used. You know, that was just an upgrade from what they were doing in the first one that got some of those shots. So, I don't know. I've always been a fan of his work. Uh, he did a lot of uh, night gallery episodes back in the day. And uh, so that's that's kind of where he came from. I think he knew Spielberg because they had done some of those shows together. Mm-hmm. And somehow his name got in the loop, and that's how that happened. But, yeah, um I, I love Jaws, too. I, that's the first one I saw in the theater. So my, my story goes, I saw Orca first in the theater. I hadn't, hadn't, I'd only seen Jaws on HBO, mm-hmm. early days HBO. Uh, so I still saw it on a small screen. But Orca first, saw Jaws 2 in the theater. And man, when Brody goes out there in the water and flips that piece of wood over and that burnt woman's body pops up. Oh, oh yeah. man! Wow. <laughs> so it, well, and and then there's like the you mentioned the the little tribute from between Orca and Jaws two. There's a tr- there like well all of Jaws two is a tribute to the first one. Yeah. But there's that same tribute because there's the 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 dead the dead Orca on yeah. the beach. But right. It's it's almost that same like discovery moment like. Well, here we have a problem, and it's mm-hmm. still a dead thing on the beach. That, and it's still Brody <laughs> and his deputy, and they're both just like, "Well, <laughs> you gotta love the fact that he goes back to the mayor again." Is like, "Look, mm-hmm. it's another shark." He's like, "Oh, you'd like to think that, wouldn't you?" I'm like, mm-hmm. "Dude, <laughs> if there's one person you should probably listen to, I mean, we've already been through this." <laughs> so well, especially just, as you think about the jo- the body count. Of, of of the first one where it's like there's yeah. like four or five you know yeah. Quint notwithstanding because Quint's, Quint was from there too yeah so <laughs> like he was a victim he was just because he was the hunter didn't mean he wasn't part of the dead you know the body count so there was yeah. uh, five people that that ended up getting because you had you had uh, Chrissy at the beginning you had Kittner you had <laughs> the the coach. Yep. You had the guy in the boat um, that yep. that Hooper found. Yep. Um, and then you had Quint. So you had five. I mean, when yeah. a town that small loses five people, yeah, that's, that's pretty that's, big. That's that's, that's a yeah. big deal. And then the the chief's like, "Hey, man, we got problems." <laughs> nah, <laughs> it's all good. Yeah, you got him last time. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Which. I guess we could segue into, and, and that's, we're not leaving out, I mean, there's a ton of movies we could harp on right here, man. Uh, Benchley's uh, The Beast, right? Oh, yeah. The, the the giant squid movie, or, you know, so I mean, there's there's all these things that are tied into this. I don't know if you could well, tell me. Let, me. let me stop you for a second. I think we need to take a break for a oh. uh, little commercial, and we'll be right back. When the movie Jaws first opened, it created a sensation. And shark sightings increased by the thousands in all the vast and unknown depths of the ocean. How could there have been only one? was a terrible tragedy here. But today, Amity has a new hotel and the promise of a perfect summer. Now, just 
when you thought it was safe to go back in the water. The legend continues. I've seen one up close. Ah! You better do something about this one, because I don't intend to go through that hell again. Don't press it this time. Mike is out there. Over there. Husband is still out there. Get me out! Get me out of the world! Yeah. Yeah. None of man's fantasies of evil can compare with the reality of Jaws. The all-new Jaws 2. See it before you go back in the water. Okay, you were talking about Benchley <laughs> and the rest of his his books. Yep. Or his his his. his uh, I I actually I, I read Beast and White Shark and the Island and the Deep. Oh yeah. Like I was I was oh, a dude. Big, I was. The that island, was a big <laughs> bench. Dude, the island was just rough, man. Man, that movie <laughs> freaked me out when I was a kid. The deep freaked uh, me so out, Michael, man. My, my, Michael Caine just running off yeah. the machine gun, just, man. <laughs> just taking them all out. Well, oh, having man. having having them up against the post with the the things in their eyes to keep their eyes open and all that's go, cool, man. That's crazy. Oh yeah, so but, but yeah, but, I mean, B- Benchley. You know, you read all the stuff about Benchley's so-called regret, right, of Jaws and the impact that it had because, you know, people did start going out and killing sharks because of mm-hmm. the, the hype, right? So, you know, it's it's just interesting that every story he wrote after that were all kind of based on water. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> they didn't go out and kill a bunch of giant squids, though. Right. <laughs> a little harder to find. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> So, Jaws 2, I think, is great. I know there's people out there that don't like it because they're diehard first movie, but come on, man. As far as a sequel, it's pretty solid. I was going to say, yeah, exactly. And like I said before, with 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 a horror movie, with any, with, I mean, the second one is, is, like you said, it's a serial killing movie. <clears throat> it's scary. It's action-packed. It's got a lot of really good scenes. And if you're sitting there being like, okay, well, we're going to base this on actual shark behavior. Yeah. Well, well then, then just wipe the whole series out because they don't right. do that. But if you're if you're talking about, like, a monster from the depths that is eating people, then... Yeah. 
Well, you know, call it a demon. I don't care. But Jaws yeah. 2 is... is <clears throat> and it holds up. Because I watched it not too long ago. It was... It was uh, announced on Netflix, like, oh, hey, Jaws 2 or something. This was, like, maybe a year or two ago. It was like, oh, cool. So, like, watch Jaws 2, see if it holds up. And, man, it held up. Like, yeah. there's there's no... Uh, um, Jaws 3 did not hold up. <laughs> Jaws 3 is... Jaws 3 is pretty hokey. Um, there's still some scenes in there that I love because I love I, them. You know what? But, uh, it, it was on TV every day. I mean, every time it was on, you know, when, when, it, when I was a kid, it was on every day. And you watched it. I mean, yeah, you know, uh, and, and 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 it's one of those things with three D technology. Um, I really, I mean, I I wouldn't take it away from anybody, um, as, as far as like filmmakers or anybody like, oh hey, let's work with three D or whatever. But it's like there's so much that whenever you're working with that technology behind a camera and you're looking looking through the lens of what can we do, like what. What what is something that we can use this effectively? And then you look at like Friday the Thirteenth Part Three, and there's like twenty seconds of a yo yo. Right. Like there's a camera on the floor looking at a yo yo coming yeah. at you. Like, yeah. okay, you've got a guy who wields a machete. <laughs> so so like, you can have a whole lot of machete scenes, like yeah. you know, a, a lot of different weapons coming at you. But instead, you you wasted your technology on a yo yo and an eyeball. Right. Yeah. So Jaws three kind of the same thing. One of the big big hokey things is the 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 motionless shark just kind of coasting sideways at the at the window. The, the seven forty seven that's coming in for landing. Yeah, and uh, you know whenever it hits that glass, just kind of like floats at like yeah. If you could, I don't know if if the director and again because he was using that technology, he was probably mm. state of the art for the day. Sure. And if you were watching it in the theater, it might have had a different effect than yeah, than watching what you it on saw on, <laughs> watching on, it on, on HBO, on, yeah, on, on HBO a, on a nineteen inch screen or whatever, you're right? <laughs> yeah, but I mean, like it doesn't it doesn't even look it it it's superimposed because remember yeah. back in the day whenever you used to have channels that would like cross over. So you'd be watching a show on one channel, and the other channel would just kind of fade. So you'd be watching. <clears throat> I don't know. You'd be watching Love Boat, and then Star Trek would just kind of float in the background of your of your of your show. Yeah, that's what it looks like in Jaws three with that yeah. shark. It's like okay, we're looking out into the water, and there's just kind of this staticky <laughs> ghost shark coming at you. But still, man, like it's got Leah Thompson. It's got those two badass dolphins. It's got Dennis Quaid in it. Lou Gossett I mean, Jr. Man, Lou Gossett Jr. I mean, what? I mean, they went for the gold as far as a cast, but it and just, it just, uh, this, this, just, the story wasn't there. Well, the story is Gorgo, right? Basically. Well, and the, well, the story is golden. I think the execution was just, yeah. I don't know. And I, I, I think, because oftentimes I think about what you have to be as a screenwriter. Okay, so SeaWorld is not that big. Right. Like, even if you've got acres and acres and acres of, pl- of, of 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 space, you know, go go back to the bear discussion. If you've got like forty foot fences around like twenty acres, there's still only twenty acres worth of area that a bear could hide. If you're looking for it, you're gonna yeah. find it eventually. Yeah, you know. And also, if, if you think there's a bear stuck inside of your forty acre compound, you wouldn't just send random people out alone and unarmed to. To look for the bear. Yeah. Go prove there's not a bear out there. Like, oh, okay, <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah. I'm just gonna go on. So, uh, but yeah, you know, there's like the there's just so much stuff in the in the story that just doesn't make sense. Like the shark just kind of hangs out in the filter. Like when yeah. it's not yeah. creep, when it's not creeping around eating people, it just kind of chills in the filter. Yeah. Well, they just they had to find a place for it to kind of hang out. It's not going to take <laughs> off and then keep coming back in the same way. I mean, it's it's there yeah. to to harvest, right? So, but yeah, yeah. I, I love that they took the the whole Gorgo idea of it being the baby. You know, and uh-huh. you're thinking this is what we're dealing with, and then no, 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 the big one's not even here yet, right? Yeah. So yeah, I I just I don't know. It's it's it, it's it's cheesy, but it's uh, I don't know, man. I'd still watch it right put, now if it came on. <laughs> yeah, dude. I, I mean, I, I absolutely... I mean, there's such a s- s- deep place in my heart for Jaws 3. Yeah. 
And every like on Mother's Day, I always post pictures of ghost, uh, <laughs> go, ghost jaws, like seven forty seven three D, because that there's that scene. And again, I, I like from reading books about sharks and how they are and they're territorial. Right. They're they're not they're they're not familial. They're not mammals. You know, basically, sharks eat each other in the womb. Uh, Mother shark has babies, and then there's some kind of weird instinct that kicks in and makes her yeah. bail. Yeah, she she like she'll 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 drop her pups and then swim away really really fast, and then leave those pups to kind of fight it out or separate. Yeah, and then you have a new shark, a baby shark, but a new shark that kind of develops its own habitat and its own territory. So whenever they're like, because I knew this when I was like ten years old, like seven, eight, nine, ten years old, and it's like it's the shark's mother. So you had a full grown, full grown shark get caught, and then his mom comes back for revenge. I'm like, even even at ten years old, I was like, yeah, <laughs> probably not. <laughs> That's pro- probably not how that works. But um, but it's, yeah, it, it's 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 just funny how. That was the next idea. I mean, I guess you can say, "Hey, wait a minute. What can we do to make this difference? How, how do we keep them from being out in the same area? What if they attack Sea World?" And mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure that's where the idea came from. They got the the rights to be able to go and shoot at Sea World or what part they wanted to build of Sea World, mm-hmm. and they just ran with it, and that's what <laughs> happened. You know. It, it is weird to watch franchise because again we're talking about Jaws two being like an effective and actually really scary sequel that's in the same world. Yeah, like they used a couple of names, but I also don't like. Was it was was Dennis Quaid supposed to be Mike? Yeah, yeah that was that was Mike Brody. Yeah, in in Jaws three, I believe that's it's right. Like, um, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's. That's one of the, that's one of those that's just kind of like okay, well, why why did he even have to? Because they they felt like they had to tie that story into the family, right? Mm-hmm. Which is why we get the ridiculous one after that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> now, that one I saw in the theater. Oh, yeah, I saw. So um, it was one of those one of those fun little wraparounds because I saw Return of the Jedi with the same cousin. In the same theater, so like at Christmas time, summertime, when whenever we could get the families together, then all the women would go shopping, and Grandpa would take the cousins to see a movie. And so, mm. uh, we saw Return of the Jedi at you know with Grandpa and my co- my cousin Aaron, who's like a couple years younger than me. So this is ninety three or eighty three. Yeah. So I would have been like seven years old. And Aaron would have been like four or five, Dang. and he couldn't ha- he couldn't handle uh, Jabba. Sure. He couldn't handle the, ju- the 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 throne room scene, and, and so my grandpa had to take Jabba out or take Aaron out of the <laughs> Jabba scene until after uh, until after the Sarlacc. So I was in I was watching Return of the Jedi by myself, watching Boba Fett die. I'm like, oh man, no way! Like this <laughs> this is not good. But then like a couple few years later. It's like, well, where, what do we want to go see? And Aaron and I both chose Jaws, the Revenge, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I don't remember what it was up against, but <laughs> man, <laughs> of course I loved it. What are we I love that. There was a freaking shark eating people in the water. What you can do? But uh, that's the one that I've not gone back and watched many right. times at all you know it's, it's almost it's 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 kind of embarrassing like i yeah. feel bad for the people that are in it there there are people that absolutely love that movie i have never made it through it i've I've seen it all just in pieces <laughs> but i've never sat and watched the whole thing i just can't do it can't do it yeah it, it, it just it, it doesn't make it doesn't make sense no. in, in like like e- even I don't know, like even Jaws three, if you think about it, because it's inside yeah. of Sea World. So, yeah, it, if a if a shark was to get caught inside the gates, and kind of the you know, like well, what what happens when a shark jumps in the boat? It just kind of flops around, and it's dangerous <laughs> until somebody gets it out of there, right? <laughs> so, like even even that concept is feasible, but uh, like in Jaws Revenge. 
The shark goes to Amity, where Sean is now a cop, <laughs> like his dad, who died because he was so worried about another shark coming back. Like, I don't, again, <laughs> there's, there, there's, there's just some, <clears throat> and, but yeah, then the shark, was... the shark attacks Sean randomly on his boat. Oh, yeah. And just like rips his arm off and kills him. Sure. And, and and so then uh the mom is so distraught that she decides to go down to the Bahamas where Mike is a marine biologist studying uh conks. Like he's watched people die by shark, like right in front of him multiple right. times. And he's like, oh, I'm gonna study snails in the Bahamas. <laughs> So his mom comes down there, and the shark follows her. <laughs> exactly. I mean, like this. <laughs> I, I mean, we keep talking. We it keep was, talking it about was, like for, it was ridiculous enough for part two for there to be another shark in the same area that the same sheriff has to fight. Mm-hmm. You know, th- three is ridiculous. So four is just beyond ridiculous i mean it, they they try so hard to keep tying in well it's no different than any slasher series right they have to have that one common thread and as long as they've got that one thread they can kind of keep this thing moving along right instead of just saying you but know it what? took it go ahead it took friday the 13th seven ridiculous movies before <laughs> they got to manhattan <laughs> and and jaws of revenge feels like <laughs> like jason takes manhattan where it's just like Oh, uh, it doesn't make any sense. There's no reason why they're there. Right. It's just it, it's just kind of dumb. And then it attacks a banana boat. You know, I kind I kind of <laughs> have to agree with you that Jaws four and Friday the Thirteenth, Jason Takes Manhattan are like the same equivalent of a movie. It's, We're gonna make a lot of people mad here. <laughs> I'll probably, but I don't yeah. care. It's just, <laughs> yeah. it's just like the sharks out of his element. They don't yeah. have great whites in the Bahamas. Yeah, and uh, yeah, just the whole thing. It, it, yeah. And he's just it's not it's not like he's a unstoppable eating machine. It's like it's like an orca where he's trying to draw the brodies out. Like there's right. some kind of weird familial thing where we have to 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 finish this. It's so like, well, they're they're trying to do what orca did, but orca just did it better. Mhm. Basically. And then the screaming, the, the roaring shark. I can't, I can't, dude. I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, ridiculous. Well, and the, fun, the funny thing is, like, I don't know what the end you've seen because this is one of those weird things with the Mandela effect. So I saw yeah. the movie in the theater. Right at the end of the story, they 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 feed it this electronic device that whenever it's like a dog collar and so whenever they push the button it yeah. makes him it Sh- shocks, shocks him. him yeah so they shock him up out of the water and the yeah. boat rams boat into, into the him. shark and kills it then the front of the boat breaks off and then the shark yeah. stabbed sinks yeah. right there is an alternate version where and i've seen it on youtube where the, sh- the boat stabs the shark and then the shark explodes, like in the first one. <laughs> and I've read blogs and stuff on Reddit where, like, no, I saw this in a the theater. This is the way it's always been. Like, how did he explode? Like, what was the accelerant? What was the bomb? Like, I don't, <laughs> like, but, yeah, because they blew him up in part one and three. And Man. then in part four, I guess they had to have an alternate ending where he exploded in some theaters. And I, I just imagine, because even all those other things, if you had something like if a shark, like if if you could make the shark breach and it stuck on your boat, at least yeah. that's feasible. There's yeah. there's gravity. Yeah. But, but just having a, having a fish <laughs> explode because a wooden post touched it right. doesn't make. It. Yeah. Yeah, you know, and that, I mean that was that was the thing. You know, people always talk about. Well, you can't shoot the air tank inside the shark's mouth and it explode like it did. Well, of course, second movie we're pulling up the electrical, <laughs> the yeah. electrical wire and shoving it in his mouth and electrocuting him. So I don't know. Is it any more ridiculous? Probably not. I, I just I just think the the story's not there. It's just like well, 
it's that sequel thing, man. You just keep it going, and the story just gets so diluted with nothing. Mm-hmm. And it's it's trying to make it's trying to monopolize off of a big name and putting as little money into it as possible. Even though you hired Michael Caine, yeah. But, it's, but at the same time, Michael Caine would do anything in the eighties. <laughs> yes, that's that is true. And he did have a relationship with Benchley movies because he was in yep. uh, the island. Yep. And uh, and and you know. I have to say, because even though Michael Caden is awesome, I can't imagine he cost that much. Like, well, he couldn't, he, he could not, he, there's no way he cost as much as Richard Dreyfus did at the time. So well, Here's for, always my calling card when it comes to a movie. When, when I see the cast and I see Mario Van Peoples in there, I just kind of go, eh. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't know why. It's kind of like Matt Sorum, right? Matt Sorum, the drummer. It's like uh-huh. whatever whatever band he got in was going to split up. That's just the way it works. Mario Van Peebles going to be in the movie. It's probably going to suck. Yeah. <laughs> and it's not even really his fault. No. It's it just, just that, follows but, him around. It's like Except a, he read a script and was like, this sounds good. And they're like, no, it really wasn't good. <laughs> like you have that, that 80s narrator that's like, it was not good. Um, you going to pay me but, how but, much? Yeah, I'll do it. <laughs> So, then, you know, you fast forward years and years, because then, of course, like, you talked about, like, the movies that could be considered ripped off. Dude, sure. Halloween could be considered a rip off of Jaws, Friday well. the 13th. I mean, they, they're just, like, I, I don't, I'm not, I'm not trying to be sacrilegious, but right. honestly, like, the same formula of just, yeah. like, why? And, and, you know, whatever. But then you had, you know, your, 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 your animal movies, like, you know, again, like Piranha and Alligator and... and uh... Alligator, man. Alligators. <laughs> man, I, I remember that coming on TV and everybody talking about it at school the next day when the kids are making the, the, the little boy walk the plank in the pool, right? <laughs> I mean, that, that movie made an impact, man. That's an Italian oh, flick, right? Alligator was... was I just... I, I mean... I remember that... that just, what would happen? You know, like flush the toilet. And like, <laughs> I mean, just right. and he's eating toxic waste down there and all yeah. the drugs and just like getting big and it, it was yeah. It was again. It was just like Jaws. He's just picking people off at random, right? Um, but yeah, Jaws. Like when he busts up out of the street, right? Heck yeah, man! <laughs> it was That's like, great. I mean, going on, dude, it's so Love good. It. What um, about what, what about all the Italian knockoffs, man? You've got. Uh, Great well, there's fight. that one that's um yeah that's that that's almost an exact shot for shot remake <laughs> of the same like and it's it's gritty and kind of gross and it was, it was just like but the shark know. man the shark they 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 built one shark head and it only does one thing really good and they just use <laughs> that same shot over and over and over and uh, it just course. pops up like a buoy right it just pops up and the mouth just kind of goes. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> And they got this guy that looks like Hulk Hogan in there. You got, uh, oh, uh, whose guy got killed in Twilight Zone? Uh, oh, yeah. Um, 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 I know what you're saying, but I. Uh, Vic. Um, Vic Morrow. Vic Morrow. Yeah. I mean, he's he's the uh, he's the Quint in the movie, right? <laughs> so, I mean, it, it's uh, it's pretty amazing if you haven't seen it. <laughs> It, well, no, I remember because didn't it get banned because it was oh, yeah. so close of a remake that yeah. they were like copyright claimed, like yeah. And that was back in the day before YouTube, where you could copyright claim things easier. Like, yeah. like they had to go international on them and be like, no, <laughs> you yeah, it, can't it, do this. It's, it's too similar. It's got the it's got the helicopter in it, just just like in Jaws too. I mean, it it pulled so many things just straight out. <laughs> That's what the Italians do best, man. <laughs> if, th- if this worked well, it'll work a whole lot better if we do it for a whole lot less money. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing how their whole their whole philosophy of filmmaking is taking popular ideas and basically ripping them off, but it ends up making it its own, and you're kind of like, you know what? I ain't messing with it. Look yeah, at uh, um, Lucio Fulci's Zombie, right? Oh, yeah. Even had the balls to call it Zombie 2 or Dawn of the Dead part two you know <laughs> <laughs> i mean because you know dawn of the dead was released as zombie in italy so he went okay. around and he went around and called Lu- lucio Fulci called his movie, zombie part two 
without even That's, saying anything to anybody. You know, then people are like, <laughs> you know what? This movie's pretty killer. <laughs> the movie is killer, dude. That's one of those that's like hard to watch because it is so it's so real. Like the like, I think sometimes too with independent filmmaking, we talked about Blair Witch last week. I think sometimes the lack of money and the inability to make things slick. Yeah. Sometimes make them oh yeah gross yeah. gross and worse because like Night of the Living Dead the original one with black and white you yeah. know like that truck blows up and they're sitting there eating literally right. fried chicken yeah but it, it I mean that grosses you out because, but because they're the way, just yeah. chomp, chomping on those kids right yeah and, and if you had had the the money to to properly light that set and colorize it mm-hmm. and get in some 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 well quaffed actors and stuff no it wouldn't have had the same yep. visceral effect. Hershey's and, chocolate uh, makes the best blood, right? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, same thing with with zombie, and again with like great white. Like I've seen it on YouTube. It's oh it's, man, it's, it's amazing. It's just, it, but it is it is pretty much just a mashup of all the best scenes from Jaws. Yeah, just n- not with the same amount, not with a good amount of money. And, uh, <laughs> so you folks are probably going, wait a minute, why are these guys talking about zombie flicks? Well, let me tell you this: Lucio Fulci's zombie is where we get to see a zombie fight a shark. Yep. How about that? And the the, the, the the lack of OSHA back in the 70s or 80s or whenever they were filming. Uh, well, uh, 79. Because, 79, because they got an actor in zombie makeup <laughs> with some sort of blood capsule in his mouth embracing a full-grown tiger shark that's twice as big as the dude. And, like, chomping on him, and the shark's just trying to get yeah. away. Yeah, it's amazing. Like, how, however it is they got this shark, whether they, they sedated him or whether he was just, like, however they got this shark. Tiger sharks are, like we talked yeah. about the bears, they're not trustworthy. Right. They are, they are tremendously dangerous. And you got yeah. this dude in zombie makeup about 30 <laughs> feet underwater biting the shark for for a scene for for you know it's amazing and, and you can just imagine the director being like keep on biting him yeah. keep on going like it's so cool yeah i talked i talked about that when i when i was doing the house of wax stuff and i talked about you know i can imagine that conversation so yeah you're going to go down there and fight a shark and he's going to bite your arm off and then you know, then you're going to grab a piece of meat off of him and start eating it. And then, okay, cool. So would there be like, you know, glass between us and it's just going to look like, no, 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 no. Real dude, real shark. Yep. <laughs> That's the Italians, man. That's the way they roll. <laughs> it bummed me out so much uh, whenever, again, with Lucas and his CGI stuff. Because remember in the original cuts of Raiders, whenever Indy fell in front of the snake and you could see the, the reflection of the snake because they actually did put glass. Yeah, yeah. And then they, they CGI'd out, out. Yeah. I remember as kids, everybody was like, ah. And then they yeah. CGI'd it out. It didn't help the believability. It just right. kind of took away a little bit. But uh, well, that's kind of okay, like, so what, it's kind of like all the extra scenes they put in E.T. too. You're like, oh, man, just leave it alone. Yeah, just stop. Yeah. Um. What about what about the the the, the comeback? So Spielberg, like it's not a rip off by yep. any by any means, but but Jurassic Park, without a doubt, Jurassic Park, Jurassic Park, I think is well. I have to say because I saw it in the theater release, um, and we we do we do fresh eyes, and I posted the other day about fresh eyes about certain movies, and um, it's 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 hard sometimes when you've seen a movie so often, like it's. If it's one thing, it's you haven't seen it in a long time. It's real easy to kind of put yourself in that mindset yep. and be like, okay. But like Jurassic Park, you've seen, you've seen it so often. It's just it's just a cultural phenomenon. It's like Jaws. Like you've seen certain scenes, certain elements. You know, you got certain monologues. You know, Jeff Goldblum's talking yep. about nature will find a way and all that. We saw that in the theater mm-hmm. when they did the re-release, and oh man, it was. Just as good as the first time. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean that movie was scary. Those, I mean, that, you were that, still like that, whenever the kids were like that, whenever the, the the raptors are going and the yeah. kids are up there and they just yeah. miss them by an inch and you're like, oh, yeah. um, that T Rex so, scene, man, where he's attacking the the vehicle is just that's just mm-hmm. top notch, man. But it's exactly what you're talking about. It is, it is Jaws because it's adventure. It's scary. You're dealing with things that are forces of nature. I mean, it is 
it's Jaws. I mean, mm-hmm. it's, the, it's the same feeling that you're going to get from a movie going to see Jaws. I mean, uh, you're not as scared of dinosaurs because you know, well, it's going to take a long time for them to really come back. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, the, the impact of the roller coaster ride that you come out of with that movie, and just, it's got, it's got iconic scenes, man. You know, how many times have you seen that little glass of water and you see the little ripple go across and mm-hmm. tons of commercials or spoofs? I mean, you um, know. Yeah, that I mean that everywhere. movie was made that that movie was made to be a phenomenon, and and same thing with Jurassic Park is like all of its sequels. I mean, yeah, I, I would can I, I mean the 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 Jurassic World is a sequel slash reboot, right? I guess because it's it it's it's in the same universe, yeah, but it's not the same, yeah. Like like Jeff Goldblum exists, but he's not like a major part of things and. Yeah. So I like how they did that, where it's like, okay, everything's kind of taken, like, still in the park. Mm-hmm. Like, the, you know, like things have happened, different, like, things have changed hands, money's changed hands, technology's improved, things are different. Um, but it's not like Jaws, where it's like, okay, well, now we're doing Jurassic Park in the Bahamas. In the Bahamas. You, you know? <laughs> this <laughs> well, actually, Brontosaurus they, followed me I, from, from the yeah. island. <laughs> actually, I think that's kind of where they were. They were they were, they were were outside of Cuba or something. Or like, but but regardless, <laughs> they, they, they were already kind of in that area. But they weren't in the Philippines, right? Like, it's, <laughs> like, they didn't just pick up and move shop to a different part of the world. Right. <laughs> um, Here's one for you. How about Brotherhood of the Wolf? I have not seen that movie. Oh, I've heard yeah. that that is an amazing movie, but yeah. I've never seen it. That's, well, there's, I need, I need put to. it on your list because it um, is, you know, it's definitely got a Jaws feel about it. Uh, I don't want to spoil it. Pretty, pretty incredible movie, man. I think uh, during my hiatus, I think Mark and and Danny covered it on Hell Ming. So okay. I mean, they they think very highly of it too. So yeah, you need to check that one out. French film. What do you think about? What do you think about Deep Blue Sea? Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, hated it. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I, you know, because there's even the reference in there of, you know, apparently Jaws happened in this universe because they even know that, you know, we're tampering with something that you shouldn't be messing with, so we're going to make smart sharks. Yeah, that works out very well, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know, man. I just, I can't, I can't do it. Uh, nah. I, I was, I was very much the same way. Unfortunately, I was extremely excited because I thought, okay, well, what, especially with CGI, because it was still relatively young technology, and you saw what they did with like Terminator Two and yeah. certain movies where it's yeah. like, if if CGI is properly deployed, then it is an amazing technology. Sure. And then you're like, okay, well, you know, you bring it to a shark movie because one of Jaws' biggest problems was the shark. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, the, the the star of the film was problematic and they had a hard time getting the shark to work. So if you can digitize it and make it m- make it be, then, hey, why? But, man, I was like, man, y'all really blew that one, didn't yeah. you? Yeah. And, it, and was, again, it's just an excuse to make the movie, right? And, of course, you've got... Uh, all your movies that follow that to your, you know, all the other shark movies. And, and I just, I don't care. I really don't. Yeah. I mean, there's Jaws and that's kind of it. There's a handful of other ones that I like. Well, i tell you this, same time period, basically a Jaws ripoff, but, uh, the relic. Mm-hmm. Remember the relic? I enjoyed that better than I did Deep Blue Sea. Yeah. Deep I Blue Sea was not. I, it, <laughs> It's just an excuse to do a shark movie, you know. Yeah, I I, I was not a fan. I, wa- I I saw that one in the theater. I was all excited. I was like, cool. Cause yeah. I finally got the money and the and the and the ability to do a shark movie. Yeah. But I think like what we were talking about last week is the thing about Jaws is not the shark. That's right. the thing about Jaws. Yeah. It's not the shark. <clears throat> it's the characters. Right. It's the town. It's the feel. Yep. There's so much involved in Jaws that is not the shark that yep. makes the movie what it is that by making a shark movie that's all about the shark you yep. you lose the heart and you forget yep. what actually makes you care that, about the character you care about the people that die you right. know that's why two works but it's a one shot thing right yes. you you can't 
technically follow that up with another part two type movie, right? It works for one time because you're not invested in the characters. Right. And, and you know, that's that's what happens with all our slasher flicks. Same deal. You get to where you can't keep the kids straight from one Friday the 13th movie to another for the most part because they're just kind of re- rehashing the same type of characters because they're all expendable, right? Yeah. Exactly. And all these movies like this, all these new, you know, Deep Blue Scene, all these, well, I say new, but even your, what is the, the, the newer ones? The Meg. Oh, man, like the, the Meg. Meg I, had a, I had a high hopes for the Meg, and then I saw it. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't even seen it yet. I just haven't had a chance, but uh, it I look, haven't it, heard good it, things about it. It looks cool, but how many times is, you know, dude just going to jump off in the water to save somebody else? It's like, mm-hmm. eh, you know, yeah, all right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see, what else? Let's talk about ones that you don't necessarily know or is a Jaws ripoff. I love this one, right? So let's take one of the biggest Nature Runs a Buck movies of the 90s, I think it was, with Twister. <laughs> <laughs> but then we're going to combine it with the story of Jaws and, and call it, Dante's Peak. <laughs> that, so, that is, yeah. I mean, literally, that's what that's all they did. Because these guys come in and say, hey, we're volcano chasers. <laughs> <laughs> what? And we're telling you this this volcano that you've got right here, it's gonna explode on the fourth of July. Well, we can't shut the town down. That's our busiest time of the year. I mean, it's it's, it's the same thing. They just replaced, you know, the Bruce with with a volcano. <laughs> and I can't remember who was like because I remember was it was it there was a volcano movie and Dante's Peak at the same time. That was back right. whenever it, like in the late nineties when it was like you had Armageddon yeah. Yeah. and uh, what was the other one? Um, obviously the one that didn't win. Um, <laughs> you had Armageddon and I, yeah. And yeah, then you the, had, was it, was it Volcano and Dante's Peak? Because yeah. there was a Volcano movie that came out around the same time. Yeah. And, um. Yeah. <laughs> like. Everybody was just capitalizing. The, well, Twister did so well uh-huh. that everybody started running with that, right? So, yeah, let's, <laughs> Volcano Chasers. Okay. <laughs> uh-huh. That's my last one I'm going to throw in there, because I just thought that well, was so hilarious, because I was like, wait a minute. You're afraid to shut down the town, because it's going to ruin the economic growth of your town. It's our busiest time of the year. But it's a freaking volcano that you're right beside. It's about to erupt. <laughs> well, I, I remember, too, because that that was the thing with, the, with, with Dante's Peak was... It's like, oh, you got the cu- the couple just randomly skinny dipping yeah, in, yeah, in the in the yeah. in the hot spring, yeah, and then it just starts boiling and takes them out, and it's like <laughs> it's like it's like it's a force of nature. It's an angry nature though, because it's like it's like you say it's like a Jason or a, or a yep. Michael. He's like, oh, I got naked teenagers. I'm just gonna burn yep. them to death. Yeah, it's like weird weird kills and th- things not working quite right, <laughs> almost as if. It had a mind, you know, right. <laughs> like, a mind of its own, a, mi- a mindless killing machine. And I, I'm sure we've missed a bunch in this. So oh, certainly, I hope. Well, I, was, that... I was going off the, the like, uh, you know, like so. You had 75 Jaws, and then 78 you have Halloween. 80 you've got Friday the 13th. You know, yep. 84 you got Terminator. It's like this yep. mindless. Yep. Killing yep. machine, like you didn't have these movies prior to Jaws, and yep. if you listen to last week's episode, right in the middle of the episode is the theatrical trailer for Jaws. So it was the the advertisement they played in theaters for you mm-hmm. to go see Jaws, and it's got that really deep voice. And right, talking. It, it is a mindless killing machine. Mm-hmm. God put it on the planet just to kill. And so then, you know, it's like, again, with all of your, your, your slasher movies, especially your, your upper echelon ones, um, where Michael Myers, faceless, yep, killer for no yep. reason, put on this earth just to kill. He's a great right. white shark. Uh, Jason Voorhees, same thing. He's yep. a great white shark. 
you know, like the freaking Terminator. I mean, yep. James Cameron, James Cameron, Steven Spielberg battling out for best director of all times. Mm-hmm. Um, James Cameron said he wanted to make a cross between Jaws and Halloween. There you go. And he did, <laughs> and he made a killer robot movie with Arnold Schwarzenegger. So, well, it's I mean, funny. The first thing he worked on was Piranha Two, right? So, uh-huh. so I mean, there you go. He was doing a a rip off of a rip off Jaws movie. So. <laughs> Oh, and then Avatar just dances with wolves with blue. Uh, so, <laughs> oh, something I forgot up. to say last episode, though, for the people that are big Jaws fans, and you may have heard this before, but Jaws is the coolest movie to watch in reverse. Because it's about, it's about a shark that goes around throwing up so many people till eventually they have to open a beach. <laughs> it's true. Man, oh man, dude. Like, uh, the A buddy of mine in one of my... Co- toy collecting groups posted a thing. I uh, um, I don't remember the name of the show. It was uh, some some TV show in the in the late seventies, mm-hmm. and it's got a picture of the girl who played Chrissy in Jaws two, the one in the boat. Yeah, and she's 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 running a she's a clerk at a gro- at a store, and standing next to her is the Jaws. Uh, yep, that's off uh, a six million dollar man episode. Six million dollar man. That's right. Yep. Yeah, um, yeah. The, the, he's standing there, and there's the. I used to have that game, the Jaws. Oh game. yeah, I, yeah. I'd love to have one now, man. Uh, dude, I would too. I remember being a, when I was a kid. A lot of kids had that shark just kind of floating around their toy box or yeah. whatever. <laughs> we yeah. used to put random stuff in there because nobody had any of the actual parts. <laughs> yeah, you but, lost yeah. them all, right? <laughs> <laughs> Pulled his teeth out and make him gummy jaws, right? <laughs> <laughs> And even then, he looked less like Jaws than he did by the... He looked more like the uh, tiger shark that they pulled the license yeah. plate out of. Yeah, very much with the <laughs> tail switched up, you know. Oh. Yeah, cool, man. So, well, cool, yeah, man. I, like I said, I'm sure we missed a bunch. So, you folks that are listening, if we've missed your favorite Jaws ripoff, man, po- post it so, we'll, so we can uh, make sure that we tip the hat to it, right? <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, like I always start off my summer season by pretty much watching Jaws, Jaws oh, yeah. Two, yeah. Um, like one of the ripoffs, maybe a Piranha. Like I always just it, it's it kind of like well after a couple of weeks ago, now I kind of want to go again because even even one crazy summer is like post you know j- joshing yeah. on Jaws. Yeah, that's right. With the, <laughs> with Foam. The, uh, with foam too, it's not <laughs> foam. They're filming foam too, right? <laughs> so, but uh, a dolphin but yeah, with it, rabies. <laughs> it's it certainly changed changed culture a lot. Yeah, like a lot of people don't want to go swimming, or you know, still can't go swimming because yep. of of of, uh, of Jaws. And uh, but no, man, this one's been fun. Yeah. Um, you guys hit us up on the Facebook, YouTube, where. Uh, Whenever we go off air today, Rick and I are going to talk about some fun stuff that we're going to do for the YouTube, um, Instagram, Twitter, yep. all the social media stuff. If we're not on it and you think we should be on it, let us know and we'll figure it out. And uh, I don't know. Any any last words? Yeah, like I said, just uh, you know, check all those things out. And if we did miss your favorite Jaws ripoff, just uh, say, hey, you morons, you forgot one. <laughs> <laughs> So we may do some sort of a salute when this episode drops and, and uh, just post a lot of pictures from some of these crazy movies on there. I think we should. That sounds yeah. awesome. Cool. Well, we'll see you next week, guys. Stay awesome. Oops.